Hello, my name is Lucky Mayo, and I I said there'd be vlogs and such, but there's also going to be the Mayo Jar, episode 3. Welcome, guys. Alright, so I got a story for you today. Here we go. I was thinking of a lot of stories to tell. It should, I, I was trying to get it from my first few years on this earth all the way up to now, and then later and later and later. But Lucky Mail story time is a time to tell stories. So, I guess here we go. Part three in my life story. <laughs> when I was very little, I didn't even know what video games were. So I came into this beautiful room right here. And my uncle introduced me to the fabulous world of video games. I was hooked. I played nonstop, and I wanted to get good. Like, get great at video games. Don't mind this, by the way. It's a pimple I'm trying to pop. Or get rid of. Either way, I'm trying to get rid of it. <laughs> anyway. I got hooked on video games. Thanks to my uncle. I played, my, the first video game I probably played was Crash Bandicoot, so that that game holds a special um, place in my heart. Uh, you, you can make a second heart with me if you want. If you want, I mean, that, that's up to you. But, Crash Bandicoot is dear in my heart. Anyway, I always played, I played Crash Bandicoot 24-7 because that's all I would really play. I didn't have any other games. As of then, so I'd always play Crash Bandicoot, and I, I always got, and I was always stuck on the boulder level. <laughs> it was a PS2. It wasn't exactly a PS1. It was, um, it was a PS2, and I didn't have a memory card to save anything. So I, th I figured, hey, I'll just play nonstop and keep the system on. That's exactly what I did, but I could never seem to get past the boulder level. My brother could. <laughs> he definitely could. I couldn't. I, I was so mad. I was like, but, but I want to get past it. I bawled every time I saw my brother get past. I'm like, how? And he showed me. And I finally got past it. And I was so happy. Anyway. Then my victory was short-lived uh, the next day. Because I was going to play it again. But it was Chris's turn on the on the PlayStation 2. So, I was waiting. I did not know where Crash Bandicoot was until it broke. And the sad thing is, I was looking for it that day so I could play it. We had a stool. I ha We actually have it right now. I would go outside and grab it, but, you know, it's raining. <laughs> anyway, I went outside to grab it. I, I went, I, I was looking for, and then when, as soon as Chris sat down, I, I heard a snap. So I, so I pushed him off the chair, I, I pulled, I, I moved the chair, and I saw a disc, I'm like, oh, for the love of, oh, please, no. I picked up the disc, I'm like, son of a, I mean, now, if, if I haven't, if I were to see that, so I'd be like, son of a bitch. <laughs> but, na but it didn't, it wasn't like that, it was more of a, It was silent in the whole room. My sister was sitting in this exact spot. I was sitting right there on the floor. Chris was sitting right there in front of the TV. It was silent. Anyway, long story short, the game the game was broken and I was upset. But then my aunt got me this game called Simpsons Hit and Run for my birthday. And that was a game I loved. It was amazing. The graphics at the time were, I thought, were superb. And I would always, I would always wait to play Bart because Bart's my favorite Simpson. And um, every, every, every time I wasn't playing Bart, I would like screw you. I'd be like screw you, Homer. Screw you, Lisa. Or, screw you, Marge. Or screw you, a pool. No, hey, that's Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> 
I would screw you, Apu. There we go. Anyway, I wasn't really a big Dragon Ball Z fan back then. I didn't really know what it was. Until one morning, I... I'm telling you all the things that I'm into because of my childhood um, experiences. I was... We had cots at the time. I didn't exactly have a bed to sleep on. I mean, I had a bed to sleep on, but Chris had a, had a cot. And, um... Anyway, I was on my bed. He was on his cot. And I... I was... I remember I couldn't sleep, so I, I decided to turn on TV. When it was... We had Dish at the time. Went to Nicktoons, and... Dragon Ball Z Kai was on. And I remember seeing it on the and I remember seeing it on the commercials a few for a few weeks saying, Get ready for Dragon Ball Z Kai or something like that. And it I was I was like, eh, it seems, looks like a cool show I might watch. Then I then then I turned on the TV, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna watch some TV, I can't sleep. So I turned on the TV, I was like, boop. And there's Goku beating the hell out of Rad uh, out of Nappa, and um, I was hooked. I I loved it. <laughs> I I loved the fights. I loved the constant whining. Like seriously, every time they encountered a strong villain, like it's impossible. I can't beat him. Wait, I got it. Oh, I use a spirit bomb. I loved that. I. Wasn't I wasn't even really deep into anime until Dragon until I watched Dragon Ball Z, and I was hooked. I was a fan. I changed my it changed my life forever. And I saw this video game um, on on online named Dragon Ball Z Budokan Tenkaichi. There's three. At the time, yeah, there was three. This was around 2007. Anyway, um, I got the game. For my birthday, just like Simpsons Hit and Run, and I s wish I still had it, cause that game has some really fun memories. <laughs> but anyway, I got the game and I was, it was fun playing. It was amazing to play, and I played it like constantly. Beat Raditz, beat Na beat Raditz, beat Gohan Grade Eight, beat beat all of them. <laughs> Frieza was a tough one, cause free. I I I always raged on the Frieza saga, cause I could never beat him. I could never. <laughs> I I had to survive until the time ran out, and I could never do that. So I spent all this time trying to survive the time with Frieza as the as these other characters, Vegeta, Gohan, Krillin, Piccolo. And I was, I'm watching this, I'm playing this, and I finally beat them, I finally beat Frieza as all of them, and then we get Goku. And beating him as a, and, and when I had to play as him as, as a Super Saiyan, then um, I had to, uh, <laughs> looks like a vampire, looks like vampire teeth when I'm <laughs> away from my, this far from my camera. Ah, anyway, back to the story. Um, I... I laugh too much about this stuff, but you know, it's it's childhood. Something that I hold dear in my heart. I gotta say it. I, f I got to Super Saiyan Goku, and beating Frieza was so hard. I, I, and I thought... Hey, and I was thinking, I remember thinking, Hey, Frieza should be easy to beat. Goku beats Frieza instantly. That wasn't the case. I kept dying. So I rage quit for a while. And, uh, yeah. So I rage quit for a while. And when I was ready to play again, it, the game was nowhere to be found. Ugh, I can't burp. I, I can't do it. Anyway. Ugh. <sighs> All right. Anyway, <laughs> don't mind. Don't mind talking out there. Anyway, I was. I took a break from the game for a while, and then I went back to my mom's for 
to live with her. And I got hooked on this game called Roblox, and it, it, that I still have the, I still have my account. I still play it sometimes, but when I was living with my mom, I was on demand. I wasn't on demand like like I'm supposed to live with her on demand. I'm, I was on Comcast on demand, and there was this certain thing I watched. It was I was just scrolling around. I, I searched for Dragon Ball Z in this trailer thingy popped up, this gameplay trailer. It was for Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi. As soon as I saw that game, I was like, I want it. <laughs> you can only imagine my, my face when I, when I, when I saw it. I, I, you can only imagine the face when you see a game you re that you think is really, really cool and you want to play. I want it. Yeah, it was... Pretty fun. I loved I, I loved watching the trailer, and I always um, thought it always made me think I was playing it as well. So I got it for for Christmas, and um, at the time my voice was squeaky. It I hated my own voice as a as a child as a little kid. It annoyed the hell out of me. <laughs> even even now I hear it, and I just want to shoot myself. <laughs> and anyway, I got it. And we, it was, I, I thought it was going to be for the PS2, because we have a, we had a PS2 only, or so I thought. We, we got it for the Xbox 360, and I'm like, but, 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 but we have a PS2, Where, where's my game? <laughs> and we were all disappointed, we, our spirits were down, we all got games, but it wasn't for our system. So my aunt, my aunt said, "Hey guys, let's go watch a movie downstairs in the basement." I'm like, I'm "Like fine." On the first one down there, my face when I saw that Xbox 360 Connect was, oh, it's still so cringy to think about. <laughs> I, 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 I got on my knees and I, uh, I, ye I yelled, "It's a Christmas miracle." I remember the day perfectly. I remember the Christmas morning. I were walking down, and I was the first to play my Elton Tengaichi. I was so happy. I was. I got through. Ha I got through the whole Saiyan saga in a day, and I and I was just so happy and cheerful. Then it was my brother's turn to play his Cabela's Survival Hunter thingy. Pretty much this game with the toy gun. Anyway, um, he gets to play his game for a while, he got bored of it, then my sister got to play her Let's Cheer. She was kind of good, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, there's one game I never told you about, Sonic 06. Now, at the time, uh, in 06, Sega released a game called Sonic the Hedgehog. It wasn't Sonic the Hedgehog 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... However many had Sonic Hedgehogs there are now, it was it was considered Sonic 06. I my first Xbox 360, we um, we got this. Um, I mean Xbox the Xbox 360 Connect wasn't my first Xbox, of course. My mom had an Xbox back an Xbox 360. Uh, we had an Xbox 360 back at my mom's house, but she pawned it and we never got it back. Anyway. Um, I got Sonic 06 for that for for the Xbox and um I remember I I I have some very fond memories of that game. I have very fond memories of a lot of games. Fun Fun Minutes for Freddy's years from now I'll be talking about it, reviewing it, whatever. Just seeing the movies that come out with it, because there's a Fun Minutes Freddy's movie coming out. It's gonna be rad, it's gonna be cool. But that's not why we're here to talk. We're here to talk about the stories. Anyway, I would not be who I am if it wasn't for all these choices I made. If it wasn't for the choice to get up and watch TV in the in like <laughs> like three in the morning, I would never have w gotten to see Dragon Ball Z Kai. I never would have gotten into Dragon Ball Z. So I watched. And I wouldn't have gotten into video games if I hadn't moved here uh, for foster care. 
A lot of good memories are in this house, but also a lot of bad. Like this. I think that was me. I think this was me. I'm not sure. Uh, might have been my dad. Um, nope, nope, that was me. That was definitely me. Yep, that was me. <laughs> I don't have anger issues, if that's what you're wondering. That that was, um, a, I tripped. I, I, I tripped, and, um... <laughs> No, I can't lie. I punched. It was, um, it was a bad day. Anyway. Being a gamer. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, you guys are putting me to sleep. <laughs> Being a gamer has made me a lot of friends. And these friends have been with me since... God, I don't, I can't remember anymore. But it's, it's something that I hold very close. Video games are my are my life. I love them. I love I love holding a controller in my hand. I I love all the things video games have come out with. I love everything about video games. If it weren't for video games, I wouldn't be a channel. I wouldn't be a, I wouldn't be a thing. A 73 subscriber thing, but hey. You guys get to join me on the journey of subscribers and fame. But that but that's not really what YouTube is about. YouTube is about making friends and collaborate and and, and building a community like, producing content that you like but but you but you think but you want other people to like as well. And the struggle with YouTube is you never know what people like. So some so some people just go with the flow and hope that a series does good. I do that too. I go with the flow and I hope a series that I play goes good. And when it does, I'm happy and whatever. Being Lucky Mayo has changed a lot for me. <sighs> I met a lot of YouTuber friends because of it. I have yet to meet Markiplier, PewDiePie, or Jacksepticeye, but hey, one day, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> hell, even I doves I'll meet one day. I'll be, I might, I don't know. Anyway, I... <laughs> ADD. ADHD, you gotta love it. <laughs> YouTube is a lot of things for me, but... The main thing it is for me is an escape. Not that I don't like producing content for you guys. I love it. I love playing a video game for you guys. Playing a horror game and getting boosted out of my seat. That you will never see because I edit that out. Because I don't need to be embarrassed by that. Just kidding. I don't edit. I barely fall out of my seat. Last time I fell out of my seat, it was probably when I first started playing horror. Oh, and I wish I had a video for you. I wish I did. Because my first time playing a horror game was, oh, it was terrifying. It was probably the worst thing I've ever experienced. First time watching someone play a horror game was Outlast. And, oh, baby, Outlast was amazing. The graphics were so beautiful. The I watched Pewds play it all the way through because, you know, he was my favorite YouTuber at the time. I mean, he still is, but he's... Not what he used to be. I, used to, I still watch him, just not as much as I watch Jacksepticeye and Markiplier, because they're consistent. But I, I remember watching Pood play it. My friend, Mark, my friend Tristan at the time, my friend Tristan, he... All right, we're good. At the time, my friend Tristan, um, he actually showed me that the series of, of PewDiePie's Outlast. He showed me a lot of series. I watched PewDiePie play everything from Amnesia to Lucius to Outlast, and I still watch his horror gameplays to this day. Some of my videos come are inspired by him. And Mar every YouTuber has an inspiration. Mine is Markiplier. I should not be this tired. Mine's Markiplier, Poods, and Jacksepticeye. And Jacksepticeye wasn't even out yet. 
he got big fast. He he got a, he got a shout out from Poots, and you can say that's how he got big, but it's really not. I'm sh Poots has given people 30, 30 people shout outs, and none of them have made it as big as Jack has. And you, I have mad respect for every everyone out there, every YouTuber out there that does that tries their best. Even if you're a YouTuber, I absolutely hate more mad respect. Because you, you guys, you don't care what people think. Some of you don't care what people think. Cause long, you, you're uploading because you want to upload and to, that takes courage. Something I don't really have. When I upload a video, I'm like, oh god, are they going to like it? Are they going to hate it? What's going to go on? Am I going to get hate comments? That used to be my thought process. Now, I know there's going to be hate, I know there's going to be thre death threats, kill yourselves and all that. I've gotten used to it. I've also gotten used to people finding me on YouTube. We had 69 people at the beginning of this, of these, of these past, of these past three months. We have, we have now regained Three new, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. We now have four more people in the family. The the male squirts. I, I, I can't take credit for the name. Some girl at school who, I guess, watches my videos gave me the idea for male squirts. And I thought, you know what, I'll take it. <laughs> Something great to call my fandom is, is the male squirts. I'm sure there's a sexual innuendo somewhere. <laughs> I will promise you one thing. As long as you're still watching, I'm still I'm still producing. And even if you're not still watching, I'm still producing because I wanna get I wanna get better. I want to learn how to edit. I wanna learn all that stuff to make my videos better for you guys and better for me and better for my future if I want this as a career. And I do. YouTube Ever since I made my first YouTube channel, I wanted this to be my career. Mm. Get get paid to make money, get paid to sit and do nothing. Either way, you get paid. Not a lot, it doesn't pay the bills, but, but hey, it's enough. Sure, you have to get a second job, and I know my video's a bit shaky. If you're, uh... Ooh, watching that, watching this while it shakes. But, anyway... That concludes this episode of the Mail Jar. I'll think of a. I'll. I'll, I'll have someone write a write, write a theme song for that with an intro, and uh, y yeah. Thank you for watching this episode of the Mail Jar. If you want to see more like like this, I will try to leave the links in the description down below for, to the first two episodes. I'll leave the playlist links in the description down below. Unless you're already on the playlist, then welcome. You found the playlist, and. Um, if you're watching this years from now, like in, I don't know, 2023, give it a like, subscribe. This is, this is one fam, this is one, um, community you do not want to miss out on. We're, we're all fair, we're all nice, and we're all kind. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> um, anyway... I don't have a lot of time left on this because I'm using my phone. That is shitty storage. <laughs> I want to thank you all for watching Lucky Mayo games. And I want to thank you all for supporting Lucky Mayo. A.K.A. me. In my endeavors. And I want and I hope to keep that support. Because I hope to make more qual good quality videos for you. And. Uh, Alright. So I haven't been doing this. Because I thought it was wasn't supposed to, I didn't need it to be a thing. But apparently YouTube, I can't. Apparently you don't get notified of my notifications anymore, of my uploads anymore, unless you click that bell, right there. If, and uh, that way you get notified of all my uploads on the channel and such stuff like that. And I only got thirty bucks in my paycheck, so I'm gonna have to keep stacking if I want to get a gaming PC. And God damn, why am I so tired? Mm. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Please leave a like. Please subscribe. Share me on Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you guys next time. 
spread the love of Lucky Mayo. Spread Lucky Mayo around the uh, around around your schools, around your house, around your neighbors, around your neighborhood, around your prison, <laughs> wherever you are, wherever you are. Spread me around. <laughs> Share me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, whatever else you got. Instagram. I don't know all that you have, but as but I'm sure you'll show me on something. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please leave a like and comment. Click that bell to get more of my notif no notifications of whenever I upload. And I'll see you guys next time. Mayo out.